Hello fish lovers, let me tell you something about what I've learned about using lead steels for planted tanks and because I'm using lead steels for a couple of weeks now I have some experience and I did learn something about the advantages and disadvantages about using lead steels so let me give you a closer uh, a closer view with my uh, my. I'm lead. having a lot of problems with my lead sieves. As you can see, some of them have turned yellow, which is not uh, that good. This one was also yellow, but I removed the silicon water protection. This piece of uh, soft silicon on top of the lead tip. You can see this one is yellow and let me tell you something about uh, lead tips if you buy the cheapest one you can find in a, a matter of uh, two or two three weeks they're going to turn yellow like this one actually this one was not cheap it was about around 20 euros 25 euros like so this one are looks this is 25 euros but it's a high quality one you can see that uh, this one has not turned yellow it looks much much brighter than this one which is yellow and i have bought another five meters of uh, high quality led strips but i already spent too much money with this uh, this uh, lid with lead strips. Let's let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another one here. Eight or two meters each lead strips. I have sixteen meters of lead strips in this lid, and still my plants look awful. The only plants that are going are my Anubias and Valisneria. And also my aquarium has a yellowish tint of color because of uh, these yellow lead strips, which I hate. And I don't know, but I think that in the future I have to rebuild this uh, lid from the start up, from zero. And I'm going to... Or I'm going to eliminate the lead tips altogether or only use some of them which are high quality ones those ones in here which are white nice and bright and i'm going to use some uh, t5 uh, lights which they do take more, more power than the lead strips but they are highly highly efficient for plants so just like my previous tank, my Yugel tank, which had 255 or 54 watts T5 uh, lights. So I'm going to do that. So you can see my tank here has this bracing. I'm going to buy for the beginning two T5 bulbs, which I'm going to place in here all the way to the other end. It's going to be like 85 centimeters for each light and I'm going to place another one in here of course I'm going to stick them to the lid I'm going to buy some waterproof uh, T5 sack uh, uh, don't know how, how, how to to spell that T5 water potential sockets something like that I think so you can definitely see here the difference between a high quality lead strip and a low quality this one yellow dull doesn't make that much light this one i strip it to the bare connections but because it's only 12 volts here i can put my hand here and not get a shock <laughs> i don't know how much it will last without any protection because you can see here the leads are covered with water anyway 
it's not that good for plants. If I didn't have any plants in my tank, I believe that uh, 5 meters or uh, 6 meters of high quality LEDs, LED strips would be sufficient to light up my tank and see my fish. But because I have plants, I have to find a better solution to light up this tank. Look at this. Terrible. Yellow, yellow, and also it makes a a terrible yellow light in my tank. They do heat up a little bit. The low quality they heat up, the high quality it's cold. So there's definitely a difference between LED strips. The high quality ones are much, much better. But like I said, I spent like 100 euros for this uh, lead and LED strips. And that is way more that I wanted to spend for my aquarium lid. And now I have to spend even more money to make another lid using T5 lights. I have to buy everything from zero again. And I'm going to put this lid aside and maybe use, use it if I do not have any plants in uh, my tank. I don't know, it looks kind of cool in uh, the video, but it's not looking good in the tank. Uh, maybe you can see now, it's still a little yellow in the tank. Maybe it's because of my driftwood. But because I do not have the budget to do another lid with a new lighting system now, I'm going to keep this one. And also, the connections here, they, they break all the time, because you can see this, it's a very flimsy connection here, the, the lead strip is very thin. And even if you move this side a little bit, the whole uh, lead strip uh, turns uh, dark. I was working on this one yesterday, I added an, a new connection here, it had, it had a wire like this but the, the, the connection broke and had to to do a clip-on connection. You can watch my video about how to connect, uh, connect LED strips with clip-on connection, clip-on uh, connectors. This is a wire connected connector. Uh, yeah, because I, I'm always moving the lid up and down in my tank, those uh, connections here they eventually break down and I have to cut the, the lead strip and do another connection. Yeah, if I can turn back time, I will never use lead strips. The only advantage to lead strips is they are easy to install. You cannot get electrocuted because you can see this water in here. You can't, you can't really do this with to, uh, with uh, mains power because you can easily get electrocuted. So the advantages are they're pretty easy to install. I just glue them with super glue. Watch my video about that. They light up the tank the same and evenly from this corner all the way to that corner. So this is this is something that I want to do in the future. I don't like a tank to be a light up only in the center, only on the corner. I have to evenly spread and light my tank to, to get a, a good image with my tank. And this is what I want. And the LED strips take less power than the T5 or T8 uh, lights. You can see here a bulb, it's, um, I think it's it, uh, it's broken, so it burn out, I don't know how. So this is what I'm planning to do in the future, of course I'm going to do a video about it. And maybe I'm going to remove the, the water protection, just like I did with this one, because 
I, that, that is the only way that I can eliminate the this yellow color because the yellow color is given by the water protection. The silicone that is the water protection turn yellow, but the lead tip is still white. You see, but I don't know what effect water could could have on uh, the connection here. It's a good thing that it only uses 12 volt. There is no way to do that with uh, mains power. You can dry right here near your tank. You, you really have to be careful with electricity. I am an electrician and I know what I am uh, talking about. So maybe I will remove the lead tip, the lead, the, the water coil protection from this lead tip. So I will get a new, like a new lead tip. When I'm done removing this, it will be nice and white again. So this is it, fish, uh, fish lovers. If you're thinking about uh, using lead tips for your uh, light, for lighting up your tank, there are some uh, disadvantages, as you can see in my video.